Okay, these are four solar panels that I have um, from someone that was throwing these away. Um, these are panels that were manufactured in the late 1970s, early 1980s. They barely produce uh, any amperage. Um, it's about two amps each panel, and one of the panels produces one. So you've got two, four, five, about seven amps, which is equivalent to almost one panel, one and a half solar panels. Uh, if you buy one today, one of my grape solar panels. So that's why I don't have them hooked up. I'm actually going to start building for my uh, do-it-yourself DIY solar system. I'm going to build a stand for these and actually hook them in because it'll add, you know, possibly seven amps to the system. But you can see uh, back then they actually used steel for the frame here and they screwed it together and you can actually notice the humidity damage do you see it looks like lightning strikes just like that on all of the panels um, they're a little bit dirty so I do have to clean them but you can kind of see here now if I flip it over um, I wrote how many amps it was basically producing they're about uh, they're, they're rated at 12 volts but in full sun they're producing 17 18 volts with no load I mean even the label you can see is just ripped off but the junction still works junction box still works but again you can see the the damage and today's cells if you compare them to like say a grape solar sun tech or Canadian solar they're a lot more durable and rugged and versatile for uh, any kind of climate. These panels, unfortunately, being uh, more than 20 years old, they're uh, not very uh, efficient here. And you can notice the lightning strikes right here. Just kind of the pattern that looks like a lightning strike. Very interesting. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. So you can see they're polycrystalline. So I'm going to actually hook these in to my system and then my old wind turbine blade there. 